everybody, this is XL Tactical, and thank you guys for joining me on another video. This one's probably going to be a really nice video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's get some of the stuff out of the way. If you're finding me for the first time, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share. That's the best way to help me out and this channel continue to grow. It's because of all the likes, all the comments that I'm able to kind of acquire some of these things. Not partnered with anybody yet, but we do have some affiliates. They are going to be in the description uh, area below, but enough of that. Uh, I did want to bring this guy to you. We're going to get right into it. Uh, I did have a firearm similar to this, not exactly like this, um, and we kind of let it go. So uh, what we have here, guys, is the Sig Sauer uh, AXG P320 Carry. That's a mouthful, right? Uh, what is it? Um, you know, Sig Sauer. I have had quite uh, a couple of videos on our channel. P365, the XL, uh, X Macro. I kind of brought it. I don't own it, but might get that one soon. Um, and I had something similar to this. I had the P320 RXP uh, Compact, I believe, back um, a couple of years ago. So a couple of the features that we have here is uh, Sig, right? Big one out of the gate that I'm going to talk to you about it is this modularity so what does that mean that means that this uh firing control unit the actual inside of this firearm is what that is what actually is the serialized part so that means you can change grips uh you can basically go from this type of firearm into many other ones you can make it a bigger firearm smaller firearm um different uh, grip modules that can make it uh, quite nice, which is a huge, huge, huge win. All right, so while I roll some of this B-roll footage, I'm going to nerd out a little bit. So overall length is 7.4 uh, inches, overall width 1.3, height is 5.5, and the barrel is a 3.9 inch. Weight on it comes in quite nice at a 31.3 ounces, sight radius uh, 5.8 inches. Um, trigger is flat, as you guys can see there. Uh, I love these triggers that uh, SIG puts into it. Again, one of those little options that you can kind of go in and say, hey man, I always do upgrades. This is one upgrade that you have automatically there from uh, within the box, which is quite nice. Putting this down at the range was quite um, comfortable. Um, I love that beaver tail. allows you to get a good solid grip and purchase on this firearm. Um, keeps that re recoil mitigation quite down. Now, again, just to briefly talk about this optic, I did want to go with this. I wanted to really go with the Sig Romeo X Pro, but I haven't been able to find. I'm probably going to be ordering that and then eventually change that, which will just keep this one and, and do something else with it. Uh, but this optic is quite nice. It's a green dot SEC met for the P320. I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's now just meant for this footprint. Um, since I didn't know that it could do an RMR, I'm going to try an RMR style uh, optic on it. And if it does, we might switch this out because uh, I definitely think that would be a better uh, buy for us so that it can be multi-use on different platforms. Uh, you can change these grips. I think these are G10 grips so you can kind of change them out and swap them out. Uh, SIG offers some of that on their, uh, their accessories website. And like I said, I do plan on changing out this takedown lever. We're going to put a little gas pedal on there um, so it can help even further controlling that recoil. Now, what helps control that recoil is the, the, the weight on that frame. Since it is uh, metal in design, um, allows a lot more weight to be up there so it can control. Um, as you guys can see from the, the footage there, uh, very, very fun to shoot. Uh, stays quite flat. Uh, and I and I know this platform. I used to run my my RXP quite a bit, and uh, now that I'm going to be having this, this is going to be another fun gun that I'm going to be shooting a lot. Uh, I already got a holster coming for it so that I can take it out to the range. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will say this, and I'm going to leave it because I know it's gonna it's gonna be all over the comments. Uh, Sigs they go bang within their holster. Uh, I've had a good amount of SIGs in, in, in my uh, my 2A uh, journey and I have yet to have one of those go bang. Now I know everyone's going to say oh but you heard the stories and this and I'm not going to buy a gun and wait for it to go bang without me touching it. Um, I'm sure they did. There you go. They've, they've done it. Um, mine have not. Uh, I'll tell a quick story. I launched one of these off of my bed one time. Um, it was loaded. 
uh, didn't have a safety and all that. And I freaked out. I could even see it in slow motion that it was flying through through the air because it was on my bed. And I was almost like taking cover, slow motion. Oh my God, that, the gun's going to go off. And as I saw it bounce, boom, 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 off the floor a couple times, the gun did not go off. So uh, I'll take that for what it's worth. Uh, I'm sure there's horror stories, like there are many out there, at least for me. They are quite safe. Um, none have gone... Uh, unreliably bang without me putting my booger finger on where I needed to be um, and I continue to support uh, SIG I got a great deal on this uh, also getting a flashlight for free and I'm getting something else for free because they were running a, a great sale on March 20th that's when I got this on P320 day so uh, yeah that's it for this video uh, let me know what you guys think about this particular firearm do you have this have you thought about it? Are you going to get one? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, uh, stay safe, go out to the range, and I'll see you guys in the next one.